After viewing one of my tutorials that showed how to create a custom interaction, Linda Kirk wrote on the comments section of that video, Hi Paul, I absolutely love this video and the options it provides. I was wondering if there was a way, and I think she's thinking through advanced actions, to disable the playback controls just for this interaction. Most of my project encourages and allows the user to jump around since it is a technical system they are learning and they may want to revisit specific areas. Many thanks, Linda Kirk. Well, good news, Linda. You can totally do exactly what you're describing in your comments there. Let's take a look at an example of how you would do that. So I've created this new project. It's just a standard blank project or non-responsive project. I'm going to add a next button to this slide here to get people started. So we'll just create a standard button. I'll move it down to the bottom right hand corner here and we'll change the caption to next. Of course, you could stylize it however you wish. Now, let's say, for example, in this scenario, there was a reason that you wanted users to only click this next button and not click any of the playback controls. Well, what we need to do is we need to hide those playback controls. Now, the obvious option would be to go to the skin editor and simply uncheck show playback controls, which would certainly work. But you may want to make the playback controls available in other areas of your course. So we can temporarily turn those on and off as we need them uh, by using the on enter action associated with each of your slides. So in this case here, let's turn off the play bar. And this can be done through the on enter action of assign. And I'll just find that here. There it is. And then we can select the system variable that we wish to assign a new value to. In this case, it's CP command show play bar. And we're going to assign that with a value of zero because we're turning off the playback controls. I'm going to uncheck the continue playing the project because, of course, I want the project to pause on this next button and await the user to click it before proceeding. So that works fine. And let's say on the subsequent slide, we need to turn that play bar back on. So we can do something very similar to that. We'll select a new content slide here. And on the on enter action, we'll assign and again select the CP command show play bar option and now make it a value of one, which will turn that play bar option back on. Uh, again, you can uncheck continue playing the project and maybe put something on this page that will cause this page to pause, awaiting for your user to uh, click something. So we could put let's say another next button if you wish, or you could simply put a click box or something along those lines. Let's just use a next button for now. And this has a pause of 1.5 seconds into the slide. It will pause and continue from there. Now, one of the things you might be asking yourself, well, Paul, that's great, but I'm already doing something on the on enter action for a particular slide. How do I deal with that situation? Well, let's add another slide to our project here and I'll show you that. So if you have uh, an additional action that you're already running, you can combine that action with this assigning of the play bar um, into an, an advanced action. And this would essentially be the first lesson in advanced actions. So we're going to uh, execute advanced actions. And what we'll do is we will create a new script because I don't have one so far. And we'll just say, um, we'll call this uh, play bar on just to give it a name. And what we would do is we would select the command assign. And again, look for that same system variable, CP command show play bar. And we're going to assign it a value, a literal value of one. Now you can add any additional uh, commands that you wish. Um, perhaps it's uh, something like, let's say here, um, you know, assign a particular variable, CP command closed captioning. 
uh, with a literal value of one. So we're turning closed captioning on for them as well. So here's an example of where I'm running two actions. It's a very simple advanced action. Uh, advanced actions are anytime you wish to run two or more actions uh, together or simultaneously. So I'm going to save this as an action and now what's going to happen is when users arrive on this slide, it's going to execute the advanced actions play bar on, which also includes the additional action of turning on closed captioning for you. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help building your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com. Follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.